Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play 60 Seconds. My name is Weasel, and we are going to play a new game on the Apocalypse Mode, or in the Apocalypse Mode on Fat Man Difficulty, which is the normal one. I'm not going to back down. I'm not going to be a little boy and play the easy mode. We're going to play the full-fledged normal mode, and I will be rescued, and I will be alive when that happens. Not like last time. I mean, not last time, but... The one time the military decided to show up, I was dead. Fantastic. It was it was just uh, a great day for everyone. It was a great, great day. All right, let's grab this, all of this good stuff. Ooh, there's the map. Okay, should have grabbed the map instead of the checker sport, but eh, having something to not go crazy is, is a good thing. I will actually go for the whole family. There's not going to be a challenge of some sort. I do feel that having the whole family gives you the best chances. I mean, you can always decide afterwards to not feed them anymore, but every survivor that you bring and that can go out scavenging gives you the opportunity to find a lot of good loot. Like, a lot of good loot. Okay, there's... The daughter is a little bit too heavy here. So, let's say Mary Jane. Mary Jane brings a two cans of soup and two bottles of water. She's... Just that alone would keep her going for 40 days. So, and that's not too unrealistic that a survivor can bring this, um, have, have that amount of loot brought to the shelter. Oh, I'm running out of time. No good. I forgot the rifle. Well, I just made it in the last second. So, totally worth it. I also like to live dangerously. Also, I don't believe that this soup could be stored for 737 years. That seems a little bit over the... Top. Okay, so that's actually a really nice shelter. Let's just hope we don't have a flood that ruins our map. That'd be nice. Four bottles of water, four cans of soup, a medikit, a gas mask, a box spray, ammunition. All the good stuff. All the good stuff. That makes me really happy to see. And we're not going to send out one right away. I am considering just waiting until like day six, seven or something. Until they say that the radiation has gone down. It's safe to go to the surface. Because I really would love to save up on medkits. And I will heal whoever I can. As much as I love Pancake, as much as I love Pancake, he's not going to help me necessarily win, so... Even though he brings stuff, but he's going to cost me a med kit, a can of soup, and I have to have a rifle and whatnot. It's it's risky. It's risky. I don't even have a rifle. Eh. Well, I would send him off. I would need a map. Anyway! Maria area is still irradiated. We're not going to do that. We had planned to go to the Niagara Falls and see those beautiful waterfalls, but they are in our bunker right now. We have a flood. Of course we do have a flood. We always have a flood. <sighs> oh, why? The map is ruined, but maybe we can repair it with the Boy Scout book. Anyway, yeah, they want something to drink. Nee, I, I, don't, I don't care. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, yeah, I want water too, and people in hell want ice water. Something along those lines. Okay. So, anything, any any events, anything happening, anything interesting you want to tell me, guys? Um, nope. Might day, do day six. Good news, everyone. The government just announced they will be dropping crates full of supplies in our area. Fantastic. Finally, they're useful for something. Let's use the gas mask. It might break, but usually that leads to more food and water. Very good. Um, doo -doo 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 what is happening? We went to get the supplies and our gas mask got a bit damaged. No taken. Don't stand on our supply drop crate when it's falling out of the sky. The airdrop crate we found wasn't exactly huge, but it contained a few supplies that will definitely help us. We were especially happy to find some water bottles and cans. Well, two bottles, two cans. Fantastic. That's a great advantage. Keeps fainting. Yes, now it's time for water. Now that we got a little bit of extra water. Man. We're really, really, really stocked well. I'm really happy about this. I don't have to send anyone out right now. The trash can is becoming full of empty soup cans. Well, we haven't eaten any soup yet, but hey, for some weird reason, it keeps filling out with soup cans. How does that happen? Magical soup cans, apparently. Okay, let's see. Maybe we get a event that we can repair a gas mask. Yeah, the area is still irradiated. Let's listen to the radio. Maybe we can fix it. And maybe it won't blow up. That'd be nice. Seems to happen every once in a while that just all of a sudden the radio blows up when you use it. It's quite silly. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Should eat, should eat, should eat. Yes. Here you go. Let's feed the, let's feed a whole bunch just to get them all on one level. Uh, area is still irradiated. Damn it. Every time we want to check out those really great places in the neighborhood, we end up looking at a stain. 
Yes, let's repair the map or ruin it completely. I mean, it's completely useless anyway for me right now. So now we lost it. What a shame. I was hoping that it would help, but nope, it didn't. We completely lost the map. Maybe we can find one when we go scavenging. Anyway, yes, yes, yes. Let's see. Still irradiated. Whoever designed this fallout shelter was a genius, but can't really tell if that green stuff dripping from the pipe is included feature. An included feature. No, it's not. Let's fix it with the Boy Scout handbook. Let's shove it in the hole. That's what. Never mind. Let's not go there. Problem solved. No leak. No mess. Back to our tidy little shelter. Shelter. Timmy's in terrible shape. Water, water. Yes, yes, yes. We can do it on day 10. I do like these events more anyway. We try to keep track of dates, but they just don't add up. Luckily, Timmy remembered it's his birthday today. We should get him a present or a cake or both. I have neither, but I guess we can make the checkers board a present. I mean, both will work. No question about that. Uh, day 10. When we were taking cover in the shelter, we barely had time to grab anything, so the checker set is missing half its pieces. It seems that you can still play it because Timmy enjoys himself so much. All right, he's in terrible shape. We need to give him water. Yes, it is day 10. It is time for water. Nothing else going on. Good. Let's not forget the water. That happened between episodes. I kind of recorded and forgot to give him water on day 20. It was, how to say, embarrassing. But you didn't see it because I didn't upload it. Anyway, day 10, um, still highly radioactive. I don't feel like sending anyone out right now. We're, we're fine, we can stay in here. Let's see what the radio has to offer us. Some jazz, some smooth jazz or some swing or maybe some government announcements. How about that? We made contact, the military's out there and they're coming for us. We're gonna get you. We're gonna hunt us down. Mary Jane is feeling safe. Nothing new to report, nothing new to report. Nothing new to report at all. Still highly radioactive. I would love to just avoid that at all, to go out right now. That radio of ours has been sudden for the past few hours. We need our news, we need our music. No, we're not tinkering with it. No, don't try to fix it. You're gonna break it. And then, what then? It's broken. We don't have radio, no map, nobody knows that we're here. Technical issues, yes, it's gonna be fine. That kinda happens when there was a nuclear disaster or the nuclear apocalypse hit. Radio stations are probably not gonna be as... Well... They kinda need antennas, and when you drop bombs on antennas, they kinda break. Anyway, Timmy seems okay, yes, yes. Uh, everything is fine. Oh, the bunny beast is here. Wonderful. It's been poking its head out, eyeing our measly food stash. We can let it get to it. We can let it be in here when we sleep. Yeah, let's let's hunt bunny bunny monster down. Day 13, my favorite number. Our cans are saved. Too bad for the hairy mutant. Okay, uh, everyone wants some food. Uh, we can do that. How is the irradiation looking outside? The contamination is still strong. Scavenging could result in radiation sickness. Yeah, I don't feel we need to go out right now. There's a gang of firefighters. Ugh. All right, let's fight them with the axe. Let's hope we don't get injured. I would prefer a gun. Okay, nobody got injured. We didn't lose anything. I would say success. And they dropped the rifle. Here's Johnny, you can greedy bastards. He well, or here's Johnny. Yeah, that's right. You're better run and thanks for leaving one of your rifles. Mary Jane keeps water, water. Yes. Tomorrow. Neighborhood is still radioactive. Sometimes it, the radioactivity goes down after five, six days. Sometimes it takes 20, which is a little obnoxious. I do like that nobody has gone crazy yet. Seem to get lucky on that front. Uh, day 15, time for water. I mean, we could eventually start scavenging. Day 16. They have accepted me as one of their own. We're trying our best to remain calm. The situation we're is far from normal. We might better... Oh, we might never get used to it. We hope the help comes soon. I agree. I agree. Timmy's very brave. Mary Jane. Yes. I'm still surprised that the military hasn't, like, announced anything in terms of, like, Hey, why won't you just flash your flashlight at us? Nothing along those lines. And everything is still radioactive. Let's listen to the radio. Let's tune in to the emergency broadcast. I could use some instructions on what to do. I'm, I'm always worried when I don't get anything that the government is just take forever, gonna take forever to come here. Mary Jane is feeling safe. 
Great news, default all set has mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. Yay! That's actually great. Great news. We're not certain about the situation on the surface. The trip could be risky, but we could really use the supplies. Yeah, we prepare for tomorrow. We were able to catch the military broadcast again. This time they're asking us to get out with a flashlight and signal to their plane after it gets dark. If it goes well, they'll be able to find us. Sounds like we'll be leaving soon. All right, we're gonna send out Temme. Even though Timmy might get sick and die, which is a shame, but what can you do? What can you do? We do have a med kit, so we might be able to just heal him. Everything was going as planned. We signaled them who should go outside. We're feeling pretty optimistic about today's expedition. The only thing left to do is choose the right person. Timmy. Let's send the little weak kid into the post-apocalyptic world full of raiders and scavengers. What could potentially go wrong? Mary Jane is quite hungry. Mm, okay, just Mary Jane, fine. We decided to peek outside for just a minute to see if the store around the corner was still standing. When we were about to step out, we heard a growl in the darkness. It's Pancake that shine in his furry little eyes. Well, his eyes are definitely not furry. Oh, could you imagine having hair on your eyes? Ugh. Ugh, weasel. Where are you going with this? Ugh. Maybe that's someone's fetish. It was a dog, the poor thing seems tired, so we let him stay with us for the night. No. Anyway. Pancake. Dolores has not eaten in a while, will not survive with water any longer. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Anyone else want some food? No. Just Ted and water for everyone. That gas mask of ours is in no shape to wear it tight unless it's Halloween. It'd be a good idea to fix it. Oh man, I bet Timmy would have loved that. I bet. I will. Can't have it all. Should I heal Timmy or should I heal Pancake when it could time comes? I really don't know. I really don't know. Maybe Timmy won't come back? Something's missing. Mm, let's see. Fan? Check. Strange noises in our pipes? Check. Hellish yells outside? Check. Oh, Dolores hasn't spoken for a while now. That's it. And it's really strange. Talking to her would be a good idea. Well, let's, let's talk to Dolores. I don't know why she's so quiet. Is she pouting? Did you do something wrong, Ted? Did you forget her anniversary? Talking to Dolores' help room will solve some of her issues and doubts. She feels better now. Okay. Dolores has not eaten in a while. Here's some food. And still no Timmy. I hope he comes back with the good stuff. There he is. What do you bring, Timmy? Did you bring the good stuff? Doesn't look like it. It turned out that calling an ambulance is not an option anymore. We reached the hospital. It is in ruins. Ruins, I tell you. One can of soup, two bottles of water. That's awesome. Thank you, Timmy. That's great. Uh, Timmy's very hungry and really tired. Here. Here you go. Anything else? Mm, Dolores would like to eat something, too. That's fine. Mm. Okay, so Timmy isn't sick. That's neat. Um, you know what? I will not prepare an expedition for now. We're doing okay. One thing you don't expect is a band of people all dressed in green showing up your doorstep claiming they take from the rich and give to the poor. I'm not gonna let them in because we have quite a lot of stuff, so nope, 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 nope. Not letting them in, not giving them my soup or my water. Because I'm probably uh, the top 1% in terms of Fallout Shelter content. <sighs> we didn't answer the peculiar calls, which is good. Timmy should eat something. And Dolores. What is it with Dolores not wanting food too? That's just silly. All right. We're gonna prepare an expedition for tomorrow. The army isn't coming, not yet anyway. That's today's radio news. Instead, they have been broadcasting a request for all citizens to assist them by cutting down trees in the nearby park. We don't know if some fancy general needs it for his fireplace or what, but they suggested that zeal that or no evacuation. Well, pretty obvious decision. Let's hope nobody gets sick or hurt or we don't lose our axe. We lost our axe. Okay. We still have a rifle, so we can defend ourselves. Mary Jane's diet could use food, Timmy should eat something, and water for everyone, of course. Uh, was it Mary Jane? Yes, and water for everyone. I will send out the Timmy bar. Oh, the Dolores, you know what? Let's send Ted. Yeah, Ted. I'm always worried about Dolores sending her out that she gets captured by raiders. I mean, Ted can also just disappear, obviously. It's just a game of chance, but I don't know. Feel better sending the man. Is there anything you bothering Mary Jane? Timmy's hungry. Timmy, what is it with all that soup? <sighs> Annoying. <sighs> we were about to take a cautious peek outside when a furry beast jumped on us. Good thing our hearts were not bettered by a fat, heavy fat hamburger diet. All right, it's the dog. So I have 2.5 cans of soup. If I give him the soup, he will come back in a few days. He will need a med kit that Ted might need it. 
I will take him in. I will take him in, and if Ted is sick or hurt, well, he's gonna have to deal with it. He will just have to deal with it. I'll, I'll fix him up. The dog was back to his former self in under an hour. Yes, Pancake. Pancake stayed around for a while, but was gone next morning. Didn't cause any trouble. Timmy is in his best behavior. Um, yeah, Dolores didn't want anything, right? Nope, nope, we're all good. While Mary Jane was rummaging through the belongings, she found a single plant seed. We have no idea what kind of seed it is, but it might need a bottle of water to start. I will try it. It could lead to four cans of soup, even though it costs one bottle of water. I will risk it. So it's a, it's a risky, risky round, I would say. It might turn out to be a great plant, or it might attack us and hurt everyone and kill us. Well, Mary Jane, we know who's going to be responsible for that, won't we? Getting something to drink from Mary Jane sounds like the right idea. Timmy, something to drink. Dolores will not last long. Yes. We can wait a little bit. It's 28. Day 28. You don't need water yet. Ted, where are you? You're making me nervous. Very nervous. It's easy to feel a bit down when living underground like that. No sunshine, no sky. Mm. Okay, water tomorrow. We're about to finish our dinner, if you can call that, when we heard someone knocking at the door. It seemed to be a trader who's very interested in ammunition. How about that? He will give me a can of soup, which I do need. But what about the smell? Let's hope the gas mask comes by. Uh, I would. It would be the worst if we all got sick because of the smell. Why are you so fatigued, girl? Okay, we got a can of soup. That's fine. Timmy's in terrible shape. Dolores has not eaten in a while. Okay, Dolores, food and water. I hope Ted brings back something. Oh, really? After all the days we spent down here, we're not exactly clean. We smell bad, real bad. It didn't bother us until we noticed it, and now we are about to get sick. So why not take a shower? Oh, uh, no, the ammunition. I just traded it away. Game, you're trolling me. <sighs> trolling, I tell you. All right. I will use the box spray just to see if it works, if it will help us. And Ted is back, and he destroyed the gas mask. Fantastic. Well, at least we're not sick. We finally have a good use for the box spray. It probably smells better than we do, so we can use it to become a bit more presentable, smell-wise anyway. All right, Ted isn't sick. That's something, at least. We got to the waterfront, where we got a can of soup. Eh. And a map. But the gas mask was damaged. That's not too good, Ted. That's not very good. Not very good. And Ted is hungry. The army started broadcasting again. They're requesting a representative from all survivor groups to meet them at the specified location nearby. Who should go outside? Uh, I'm gonna send uh, the, the Dolores or the... Uh, well, hmm, he. I guess I'm gonna send the daughter. Why not? It's still our best chance because if she gets lost while being out, so be it. Well, I feel confident that we might actually get rescued. We made it to the meeting. The serious looking soldier asked us a few questions. Okay, Mary Jane needs some food. Um, and Ted needs some food. Here you go. Uh, should I serve? Mm, should I scavenge? I have 1.5 bottles of water. I will prepare an expedition for tomorrow. And barking at the door in a moment's notice. This time we were right. It was Pancake. He had come back, but it wasn't willing to enter. Instead, he seemed very anxious to lead us. I'm gonna grab the map. I'm gonna follow him. I don't know where he's going. And I hope it's not gonna hurt us. But if we would use the rifle, he would run away. And the axe could lead to problems. Ooh, yes. A well-prepared hiker always takes a map. That's what we say. Thanks to our trusty Atlas, we were able to take a look at the devastation of our town and get back home, or rather, our shelter just in time for dinner. Pancake took along for a while, but left before we got to the bunker. Before we got back, we were able to take a detour and get some cans locked in a car. Good thing we did some reading about car mechanics in the scout handbook. Oh, did this have an effect? Neato. Timmy's very hungry. Dolores has to drink, and Ted is hungry. Okay, Timmy's hungry, and Ted is hungry. Anyone else? Mary Jane seems fine. Okay. Who should go outside? Um, you know what? No one. No one should go outside right now. I might send them tomorrow, so I just want them to, you know, feel a little bit better. Something along those lines. Everyone has a drink. Terry is in terrible shape. Yes, 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 yes. Ted is still hungry? Why? Ted, why? Why are you hungry? Okay, we're gonna send one tomorrow. 
It's not every day you wake up to a carnivorous plant trying to eat you. This is how our day started. Curse Mary Jane's plant. Mary Jane! Oh, it got a big... Uh, we're gonna get hurt, don't we? Okay, who gets hurt? Who's hurt? Oh, wow. Ted is hurt. Really badly hurt. It killed Ted, I guess. Too many days without water took their toll. Ted died of dehydration. Why did Ted die? That makes no sense. There was nothing we could do to fight that damn plant. We're lucky it didn't eat us alive, but it sealed some of our food. Uh, well, we have one less mouth to feed. I have no idea why Ted, how, why his water was different now. That's so awkward when that happens. Timmy has rested. That's good. Well, we might just send Timmy. Good luck, Timmy, out there. You will need it. Pancake should be back soonish. And we still have our med kit. Nobody's sick, so I will take that as a sign to heal Pancake when he comes. Timmy went out to the wasteland. Nobody needs anything. Dolores hasn't eaten in a while. Well, then have some soup. When does Pancake come by? When does he come? Well, because he will supply us with water, so that's great. Ah, Pancake, no. Mary Jane was injured on her last expedition. She didn't mention it to us and we didn't notice. It wasn't a problem until just now. No. No. I'm not gonna heal you. I'm healing Pancake. I'm gonna heal Pancake. Yeah, you, 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 you stay sick. I want the dog. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Can we spare some water? Um, there has to be some water left. No, no, no. Pancake crawled back to us, but he's severely injured. Has been shot by some monster. All right, let's heal him up. We got Pancake! Yay! I will take that as a personal win for this episode. Now that we have Pancake, I don't need my daughter anymore. It took a while, but we were able to patch Pancake up. Fantastic. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dolores will not survive without water. Good. Oh, Timmy is lost. Timmy can't sneak like a secret agent man, but that might not be enough to avoid the band of raiders. Camp near our shelter. Nope, he's not coming back. Great. So, Mary Jane is the only person that I can send. Problem with that is, though, I can't heal her. So, how much water do I have left? Not too much. Well, we're going to prepare an expedition and going to send Mary Jane off tomorrow because... Oh, I could have traded in some water that I actually do need. Okay, it's day 40. I kind of don't want to give her water. Because, you know what? I'm not going to give Mary Jane water. Who knows? Maybe she will come back. She should technically be dead today. But she made it out. Who knows? Maybe she will come back. Let's hope she hurries back soon. All right. Let's nothing new about the Loras. We're gonna have to wait that out. Pancake might bring us some food, though. So pancake is might be my golden ticket here. Dim, 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 dim. Relatively calm. Nothing new. The gas mask was worthless. Let's repair it with the Boy Scout book. Yay! I don't think Mary Jane is gonna come back. I repaired the gas mask. Fantastic. Dolores would love to eat something, and here you go. Something's at the door. We cannot hear what they're saying, but they've been banging on it like crazy. Maybe it's good news, maybe it's bad news. But they're banging like crazy. Um, It is after day 30, meaning I will open the door. <sighs> they're banging like crazy. Should we open the door? Um, It's actually my policy to open up after day 30. Okay, I'll stick to it. I'm a little bit worried that it might be raiders because it says banging like crazy. I don't know if that is only for raiders. When it is raiders now, we know that when it says banging it like crazy, don't open it. But I will try. And let's hope for the best. Let's hope it's the military. It is not. It is the military. It is the military. We made it. Nothing made us happy yet in the sight of Mary Jane returning to who cares about Mary Jane? We liked our streets, especially during national celebrations. Everyone joined in and decorated their lawns and houses. Plenty of fun was to be had. The street doesn't look like it. It will be used for any celebrations anytime soon. Not in the next hundred years anyway, but we had an idea. Maybe something useful could still be found amongst the rubble. We found a refrigerator in the middle of our neighborhood's lawn. Even without electricity, the light inside was on. It contained quite a few soup cans and surprisingly a brown fedora. 
she made it back. That's great. It appears that Mr. Jerkings from down the road was brewing his own moonshine. We discovered a few bottles with labels that suggested a high percentage of alcohol, but the stuff tasted like water, so we assumed he failed. Or did he? Plus one. A band of kids were playing war in nearby ruins. They had plenty of real guns and ammunition. It is very encouraging to see that kids are making the best of this terrible, terrible situation. They even shared some ammunition with us. All right, so that was the event for Mary Jane. I just wanted to read that. She made it home safely, but the military made it. Safe, safe at last. The military came to our rescue and took us away from this hellhole. It was our home for a little while, but we can't say we'll miss that tiny shelter. We don't know if our future is bright, but if it is, let's just hope it's not more nukes sliding up in the sky. 43 days, Wheatley. Stop screaming, bird. 44 days in our shelter. All of us are safe. Yay. I mean, on day one. Ten Ted died of dehydration. Uh, Timmy never returned. But we have Pancake. We have Mary Jane, and we have the woman, the Lores. That is great, we have a new dog, I like it, Pancake survived, come on. That is the best possible ending ever, I don't care. Anyway, we were rescued, amazing, finally, it only took what? I don't know, 25, 29, 30, 30 episodes, That's, I think it's episode 30. You survived, that is great. Anyway guys, if you would love to see more 60 seconds, be honest, would you really love to see more 60 seconds? I will gladly go into the new game and try it on Star Bomber difficulty or do some challenges that you suggest in the comments below. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. He likes it. I like it. You might even enjoy it too. Anyways, I'm Weasel. I'm out and I hope to see you around. Bye bye.